people always think that that this is very different, an artist or a, or a medical doctor, but I think I never changed my profession. I think I did in my uh, with my artwork what I wanted to, wanted to do, to do as a doctor. I'm Wolfgang Leib. I'm an artist. In our family, art was the most important thing. I think there was nothing else. My father uh, worked as a doctor in Germany, and uh, I began to study medicine. And uh, then, but very soon, I was very dissatisfied with uh, what I saw, uh, especially that medicine was uh, was a natural science, which only. Uh, cared for the physical body, but I felt our life is much, much more. And then, uh, I, in the middle of the medical studies, I made one of these stones, like uh, one of uh, these uh, egg-shaped stones, um, which I called Pramanda, and that was the decision for me that I would become an artist. I would finish my medical studies, but I would become an artist. From the outside, it always looks like my father would have asked me to study medicine, but that was not true at all. It somehow I was interested in in life and what what life is, and I began to study medicine with all the ideals you can have as a doctor, as a medical doctor. And then when I decided not to do this, of course, uh, any other parents would be totally upset. But my parents were very, it, 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 it was actually the opposite. My parents were, my father found it much too boring if I would uh, take his practice and continue the same thing. My parents felt it's something new, something fresh, uh, some, something incredibly exciting was starting in, in our family. So, so they supported me a, a lot. Also, my parents were very interested in, in Asian art and Asian culture. And um, they saw in the 60s, they saw these very abstract uh, drawings, tantric drawings from India. And my father bought some of these drawings. And then he said, I want to see this country where these uh, uh, drawings are coming from. They look like Montreal, but they are like 400 or 500 years old. So we went to India the first time, and then it was, that was uh, quite a but an experience. We never saw such a poverty. And then my parents began to support an Indian village in South Indian Tamil Nadu for many years. And through this, uh, we had a very, that changed our family very much and influ influenced our life very much. In 1972, when I, d uh, I worked on my, d my medical dissertation, and as I didn't want to, uh, want to work anymore in a, in a laboratory or in a, in a hospital, I found a professor in my German university who said, if you have a good idea, then you can do what, what you want. So I went to India and I pro made the proposal of making a dissertation about the hygiene of drinking water in South India, which I did. And I, I lived a, about half a year in South India and I came back and of course, I lived in a totally different world than what, a, what the medical university in Germany is. And so I made this pramanda, which took me about three months. And after this, there was a decision that I would really finish this medical studies, but not become a doctor. Maybe that's also my discipline, which, which you also can see in my artwork after. I think it's, but also I had already the material for my dissertation to, nearly together. So just to throw this away, I don't know that. I, I feel that was also, I think the medical studies was very important for me. This, this experience also that I was so dissatisfied and that was uh, so much tension in myself that uh, that led also then to this work. So if. If I would have gone to an art college, I think I would never have done that. So I think the medical study, uh, without this experience, seeing the hospitals and seeing very sick people, dying people, and 
And that really led to this artwork.